Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another video. But before I get started with the subject of this video, I want to give a huge shout out to my sponsor, ToyHacks.com. ToyHacks is a company that provides upgrade decals for modern Transformer figures along with reproduction decals for the vintage ones. While visiting Toy Hacks, make sure and check out the Toy Hacks Armory to see their line of Transformers weaponry in multiple colors and toy stages for awesome display backdrops. Each purchase from Toy Hacks earns you RoboSense that you can use for future purchases. You can check your balance anytime in your cart. Toy Hacks is a company run by collectors for collectors, so make sure and check out ToyHacks.com and tell them Patriot Prime sent you. Now, on to the review. The featured bot in this video is Transformers Shattered Glass Blur. Now I want to go over a couple things regarding the packaging and how Blur was shipped. First off, on Facebook I see a lot of people complaining that their Blur came crushed. Actually, that is the way the box is designed. If you take a look at the box and all the angles, it is not crushed. It is just a very weird looking box. And uh, a lot of people are complaining, but that is its design. I mean, the actual plastic here is curved. If you can tell, it's just a really weird design choice. Secondly, this is the Hasbro Pulse blur that was really hyped up because it came with a comic. Now, if something is coming with a comic, you would expect the comic, comic book, to be packaged securely. That's not the case with Hasbro Pulse in their blur. This is how my blur in the comic was shipped to me. It was in the box just like that. There was no extra packing materials or nothing just like that. The exclusive comic was just here in the box banging around. Now, mine didn't get damaged. I don't see any scratches or anything, but it was curved right here on the corner. So Hasbro, if you're watching, I doubt it, but when you package a comic, secure it. It should be in a plastic sleeve with cardboard backing, or at least an envelope with cardboard backing not banging around in a box twice its size. So there's my little rant for the packaging of Blur, and I hope it kind of cleared up some confusion with the box. Now, let's take a look at the packaging. You've got Blur right there in robot mode behind the plastic shield here. Transformers, shattered glass, Blur, and some great looking artwork. I love the looks of that. Actually, I like the whole design of this package. The collars just pop. Side of the box, you've got Blur in an action pose. Back of the box, there's Blur in robot mode and vehicle mode, along with a brief description here in multiple languages. And this side of the box is a close-up of that same action shot from this side. So now, without further ado, let's get this figure opened up out of the packaging and check him out. And welcome two Patriot Prime Reviews. Now, once you get Blur all opened up and out of his packaging, you'll see he does come with a sheet of instructions that, as usual, are very well illustrated and easy to follow. And I love this new color scheme with the pink and the purples and the whites. This is really cool looking. He also comes with his welding tool or hand sanitizer. After all, it is 2021 and his blaster. So now let's take a closer look at Blur himself. Transformers Shattered Glass Blur here is a repaint of Studio Series 86 Blur just with a brand new head sculpt. And taking a closer look at this head sculpt, that looks awesome. He looks so evil. I like the eye patch with the 
damage right there. It looks like maybe it was scorch marks. Maybe the eye got burnt out. Nice paint applications. The face looks a little wonky. Almost has a scarred Joker smile, but man, it looks so much better than the Studio Series 86 blur face with that extra long, weird looking chin. I mean, I, I just don't like how this figure looks. This guy looks amazing. They just did a really good job with it, and I can't commend it enough. That looks great. Now, another difference right here is if you look here in Shattered Glass Blur's chest piece, he's got yellow translucent plastic where Studio Series 86 Blur had clear. Blur had his Autobot logo right there below the clear window, where Shattered Glass Blur is right there on the inside. So that looks pretty cool as well. The rest of the figure is just a straight up repaint and the paint job looks fantastic with the blue, the dark blue, the light blue, and the silver. Now there is one issue with this figure that I've discovered is right here. This little section behind his arm does not want to stay up. It's just loose. There's a peg right there that it just, it won't fit in. And that is disappointing. I mean, I try to do a pose and it just flops right down. So it is what it is. It's just these Transformer figures and these QC issues just, it's like every other figure, there is a problem. Now, let me stand up Shattered Glass Blur and bring in Studio Series 86 Blur once again so you can get a good comparison of the two. This guy, very G1 accurate, but he's just too bland for me where this guy absolutely pops. Now, I do have a Toy Hacks decal set coming in for Studio Series 86 Blur here in a couple days. I'm really looking forward to seeing what that does for him. Now, let's take a look at Blur's weaponry. He has a dark gray blaster and, like I said, the welding tool or hand sanitizer, whatever you want to call it. These are the exact same molds as Studio Series 86 Blur. Just pop those in his hand. And this one here will fit in. Now, one of the advantage of using this in his left hand, it kind of locks in that floppy piece below his arm. Kind of. But it, it's better than what it was. Now, you can also take this section right here, flip up his back piece, and it will actually peg in. It's got these two little pegs right there. It'll peg in behind the vehicle nose cone for storage, and I like that a lot better. I'm not a big fan of the welding tool. See, that just, that's annoying. It will not stay up. Now, articulation for blur, the same as Studio Series 86. Heads on a ball joint can look up and down, do a complete 360. The arms, complete 360 as well, and has a soft ratchet. Love that. Arms can go out, they can go in. There is an elbow bend and there is a wrist rotation, but the wrists are attached to these sections here. So when you turn the wrist, you're gonna turn all of this as well. So that's kind of lame. There is waist rotation, legs can go forward, they can go back. There is a knee bend, there is a rotation and an ankle tilt. So lots of great articulation for this figure. And man, I just can't get over how good he looks. Just look at that face sculpt. I really don't understand the eye patch on a robot. You figure he'd just get a new eye, but hey, it is what it is. It still looks really, really cool. So now let's take a look at Blur in vehicle mode. And to transform Blur, it's fairly simple. Let's go ahead and remove the blaster and the welding tool. And the first thing we're going to do is bring these sections down here from the arms, fold these tabs out, and bring these up over the fists, and just snap that back into place. Rotate this whole section around, like so, and now pull the arms down. So you've got that going on. Now let's go ahead and take this chest section and rotate it a 180, and then just take the nose cone, put it up over Blur's head, and snap that into place. 
Now we're going to take these sections right here and fold those down. Now right here for the legs, we're going to open the legs up just like so. And underneath, let's see, which leg is it? Right here, the left leg, you've got the little antenna or spoiler or whatever that is. Go ahead and fold that out. Go ahead and bring the legs up and over. And we'll see if we can get those tabbed together. You have to keep manipulating these arm sections out of the way. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but it is pouring the rain here. We're getting some Ida weather. So get this tab together. Now once you have the back section tabbed together, just flip them around. Bring the feet out. Or in, rather. What am I forgetting? Oh, bring the feet out. It's been a long time since I transformed a blur. Bring these around, and there's tabs right there on the feet that are going to match up with those slots right there. So get that tabbed into place. Get this one here tabbed in. And that's going to secure the bottom of the vehicle. Now go ahead and bring these arms down and rotate around. And now you've got multiple tabs here You've got these tabs underneath that are going to tab into the slots right there. And there's a tab here on the nose cone that's going to line up to that one there. So go ahead and get both those tabs in place. It's hard to do both of them at the same time. Actually, I was wrong. It's the tab right there. I don't have it back all the way. Let's, that popped up. So get these attached. Get them flush. Now once you get everything tabbed in nice and tight, and I, like I said, I was wrong. This tab right here doesn't go anything, go in anything, but there's tabs right there that attach these sections here more flush to the vehicle. And then the last thing we're going to do is flip out this section here which is the seat for the vehicle and there we have blur in vehicle mode and i love the looks of this especially with the lightning bolts right there on the front that looks really really cool and that orange cockpit just rocks now once again of course these feet this is one of those figures that's just hard to keep everything tabbed in as you're transforming but once you do get him figured out, he looks really, really good. So now let's put in, well, real quick with the weaponry, you can attach the weapons underneath the nose cone, take the welding tool, and let's see. Go ahead and put this on like I showed earlier. Then you can take the gun, and it'll actually tab sideways. Actually, let's put the gun on first. It tabs in sideways like so, and then you put the welding tool right over top of it. So you've got this going on, but I am not a big fan of that. I just think it looks junky. If I'm displaying him in vehicle mode, I'm going to have him with the weapons just off to the side. So now let's take a look at Shattered Glass Blur with Studio Series 86 Blur. And let me see if I can zoom in just a little bit more. And just like robot mode, I think vehicle mode looks so much better than the Studio Series 86 blur. And another thing that this mold does better is the seat section right here is a little tighter. It just doesn't flop. See, this already did. It just doesn't flop around like Studio 86 blur. So there's another plus. This one doesn't have the floppy arm. This one doesn't have the floppy seat. So I guess they evened out in a way. So there you go, guys. There is Transformers Shattered Glass Blur in vehicle mode. And now for some quick size comparisons, here is Transformers Shattered Glass Blur with Generation 1 Blur, Shattered Glass Optimus Prime with Toy Hacks decals, 
and Shattered Glass Ratchet with Toy Hacks decals. Transformers Shattered Glass Blur is an awesome repaint of Studio Series 86 Blur. This figure just blows that one out of the water. I love the new head sculpt. I love the new paint scheme. Not to mention all the lightning bolt decals in vehicle mode really, really make this figure pop. My only complaint with the guy is this section right here that tends to flop down. But as I mentioned earlier, once you pop on the welding tool, it kind of locks it in place. So I may just end up displaying my blur like this, or I'll probably have to break out the floor polish. Just like Shattered Glass Optimus Prime and Ratchet, Blur really impressed me, and I cannot wait to get the rest of these evil Autobots. So there you go, guys. Transformers Shattered Glass Blur. So, does a Transformers Shattered Glass Blur belong in your collection? Well, if you're a fan of this new Shattered Glass series, absolutely. This is a great repaint of a mediocre figure. As I said in review over and over again, I like this version so much better than this one. This this guy here just seems to have so much more personality. I mean, the only flaw I really have with him is this section right here on his arm that just does not stay up. But that's why I have a giant bottle of floor polish right here on my desk. So I'm going to tighten that up and hopefully that'll stay a lot better. But Come on, Hasbro. I am so sick of these irritating QC issues. But other than that, I think it's a great figure and a really unique take on Blur. Now, guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new reviews. Also, if you're in any position to help out the channel, I offer channel memberships here on YouTube, and I also have a Patreon page. Once again, guys, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hoo-ah!